Have you ever wondered what it's like to have multiple businesses and work on countless jobs like Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos? I do. I have multiple businesses and I can tell you that it takes a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of effort to maintain and grow. So to manage the energy that I need throughout the day, I include some light routines that help me to stay productive. We only have so much time and energy before the day ends. And if you start to use some of my tips, you'll have even more energy because one of the number one questions I get asked is how do I maintain the energy throughout my day? So here are my tips on how to keep your energy high all throughout the day. Hey guys, I'm Manif. I've become a multimillionaire by starting multiple brick and mortar businesses. I've closed billions of dollars in just sales alone, and I'm here to help you with your journey towards financial success. So let's get it started. Have you ever wondered why you're sleepy? If you wanna have high energy throughout the rest of your day, you need to be able to respect your sleep cycle. Our bodies follow a sleeping pattern called the circadian rhythm. It's our built-in internal clock that tells us when to go to sleep, when to wake up. But when you don't follow your internal body clock, your system becomes all messed up. You feel sluggish and tired and, and that can have a huge impact on your productivity and ability to think. Regardless if you wake up too early or too late, both will have negative consequences and effects because both scenarios do not follow the circadian rhythm. So you'll eventually feel tired later that day and you'll notice that your quality of work will be affected because of the lack of energy. Also, your cognitive function and the ability to concentrate will significantly be diminished. So as much as possible, follow a seven to eight hour sleep cycle. Look, human beings by nature, 250,000 years of evolution shows that when it started to get dark, we probably didn't hang out and party. We most likely didn't eat in an open fire late at night because of predators. So what we probably did is got ready for sleep once the lights went out. So my advice is to avoid using too much lights in the latter part of your day. Blue lights, screen lights, TV lights, all type of lights, because your eye is helping your brain to think it's still daylight. It has an adverse effect on your deep sleep cycle. Also, my advice is to avoid using alarm clocks because the use of alarm clocks could be detrimental to your overall productivity and energy. According to experts, the initial shock that someone experiences at the sound of an alarm clock can cause heart problems and even disrupt your sleep cycle in the long run. Did you ever wake up to an alarm clock and get a headache almost immediately? You've been jolted into action and it happens sometimes when you're in your deep sleep cycle and it gets interrupted so you feel groggy and irritable in the morning all the way till the afternoon. And you know, it's not a good way to start out that morning. Suppose you don't use that annoying alarm clock in the morning to wake up. You can just as easily open the blinds when you go to sleep and as the sun comes in and hits you, it's a natural way of waking up. A few hundred years ago, Human beings didn't have alarm clocks, but they relied on sunlight to tell their body and their brain it is time to wake up and when to wake up. Our bodies have a natural reaction to sunlight that signals our brain to wake up. So if you wanna feel fresh when you wake up, it's better that you adjust your sleep cycle early and let the sun wake you up instead. If you have no choice, then use an alarm clock as a last resort, but don't continue to hit that snooze button. Try to remain awake the rest of the day to keep your sleeping patterns intact. If you're going to use an alarm clock, put it all the way on the other side of the room so it'll force you to actually get up and walk over. So you don't go back to sleep and then wake back up because you keep hitting that snooze cycle. Sometimes people are just using their phones but the same thing, the phone is within reach, so you end up keep putting that snooze on. So put your phone on the other side, it should be charging on the other side anyway. Nowadays, a lot of us work from home, and there's that one thing we might be missing because we used to commute into work, and that's exposing ourselves to natural sunlight. Aside from irregular sleep cycles, a common reason for people to lack energy is they lack exposure to the sun. That doesn't mean you go out and get sunburned on your face and body and walk around like a red lobster. It only means that you expose yourself to natural sunlight by walking walking outside, by sitting in the sun for a little bit, by getting that good old vitamin D. Exposing yourself to sunlight, your body receives helpful vitamins and your exposure to the sunlight also gives you a boost in your overall immune system and allows us to actually reduce fatigue. I know a lot of people won't even go out in the sun unless they lather on two coats of sunblock, but actually go out in the sun without the sunblock there just for a few minutes to expose yourself and see how it affects your mood. When your body starts to get that sunlight, it produces melatonin a hormone that actually helps you regulate sleep. 
as well as vitamin D, which is both important to not only your energy levels, but to your health overall. If you want to have high energy for the rest of your day, try your best to step outside of your room or office to have a bit of sunlight for 20 to 30 minutes every single day. Have you ever felt a bit sluggish or noticed that it's hard to get moving? Even if you slept well, it could be that you lack movement throughout your day. Another thing that people have lacked ever since more people started working from home is exercise. This is a little different from working out. It's just basic movement all throughout the day. One easy way to maintain your energy is by movement daily. Studies have shown that if you can at least exercise three times a week for a minimum of 20 minutes, you will improve your overall energy level and reduce experiencing fatigue. I know it kind of doesn't make sense, right? If I exercise, I get more energy. Movement creates more energy. Experts say that even low intensity exercise like walking outside is enough to feel this change of energy. And if you want to maintain your energy high throughout the day, then all you need is a bit of movement in your daily life. Not only will you become healthier, but you also improve your mood and your brain functionality. Because when you exercise, your heart rate pumps more blood and the blood circulates rapidly throughout your body, including your brain, and it makes your brain and body more alert. It helps to flush out toxins and having better health is key to better energy. Another added benefit of consistently exercising is that your sleep will also improve over time. We already know that when your sleep is better, you will likely have more energy throughout the day. And all of these benefits only take 20 minutes of light exercise or AKA movement. I walk around three times a day for about 30 minutes throughout the day, morning, then at noon, then late in the evening. And this helps my energy level greatly. And also helps me think about things that are going on in life and gives me the solitude I also need. It's a perfect time to get your mind right. This is one of the most used drugs in the world and almost everybody consumes it. But what they don't consider is the side effects. What I'm talking about is Java or coffee. If you're a coffee addict, you need to stop right now. What you don't know is that this energy booster or so-called energy booster is actually bad for you. Caffeine affects your energy by blocking andosin, the receptors that tell you when to sleep. But once the effects of coffee or caffeine wear off, the piled up andosin will rush throughout your brain that's what causes you to get a caffeine crack, causing you to lower your energy throughout. And not to mention those caffeine mood swings. Caffeine can still be helpful as a last resort, but you don't want to rely on it all the time. And you don't want to rely on it too much. It might mess up your sleep cycle and make you more tired in the long run. And because you get tired, you'll consume more coffee. And it becomes a never-ending cycle that will affect not only your productivity, but your overall health. The use of coffee is pretty much like a double-edged sword. If you can't remove caffeine for yourself, system right away. Switch to some lighter versions like tea since it has less caffeine and gradually then you can completely quit altogether. You just need to take it slow and maintain your usage to a reasonable amount. What is reasonable depends on you. I myself do not take coffee or caffeine or tea because I feel like I have more control on my energy cycles when I don't consume something that's going to trigger more energy internally. Topic aside, I want to say thank you for watching this video. It's really been a huge support for me, but if you want to learn more about finance and personal development, you can follow me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. There, I'll provide various tips and educational content that will help you achieve your financial goals and have freedom in your life. You can find these links in the description down below. One of the most basic things that we can do that often we neglect, and it's almost always available anywhere, and if you take this all the time, you'll notice that you increase your productivity, and that is water. Almost every part of your body needs a good supply of water to properly function. That's why mild dehydration hydration can be enough to have a negative impact on your productivity and even make you feel sleepy. According to a recent study, 75% of Americans are constantly dehydrated. That's a lot of employees and CEOs that can improve their performance if they only drank a little bit more water. Now I've seen the guys carrying around gallons and gallons of water and I'm not saying you need to take gallons and gallons of water, but you need to take enough water so you feel hydrated. At least once an hour of hydrating yourself and obviously if you have some type of sports activity, you need to hydrate hydrate yourself more. Make sure that you keep yourself hydrated. So always bring along a water bottle with you or a glass of water when you're working so you remember to take it. This will help you remind yourself that drinking water is important and in turn it will affect your energy and your cognitive performance as well. It's very simple but it's a drastic effect on you when you don't have enough water. But also remember towards the latter part of 
you're eating, before you're going to go to sleep. Try not to drink a whole gallon of water before you go to sleep because that too will affect your sleep cycle or your mattress. You take your pick. Just a quick recap to maintain our energy, not only throughout the day, but the whole week. Always respect your sleep cycle. Remember to get a bit of sunlight. Get at least 20 minutes of movement or exercise and avoid caffeine and coffee. And lastly, drink more water. All these tips are very, very simple and it's something a lot of us could start to practice. Sometimes we just need a little simple reminder to maintain our energy level for the entire week. Also a reminder, like this video and if you enjoyed the content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you for watching. And if you want to learn more about how to improve your productivity, watch this next video, how to beat the afternoon slump four easy ways.